here in the Sava region, around 70,000 farmers basically produce all the vanilla that we consume in the Western world. Without this region, there would be no uh, ice cream with vanilla and none of these other products. More than two years ago, the price of vanilla was less than 8 euros. So at that time, it was quite different because then many international companies decided to switch only to sort of natural flavors. And this has created a boom in vanilla here in the region. The prices have gone up then more than 1,000%. Nobody expected this to come. The boom of the de, price de, de of vanilla has apporté a plus for the producers in particular. Vanilla producers and merchants are the ones who profited the most from the recent economic boom. But people coming from abroad also find benefits. The main disadvantage for some, though, is inflation. Our research project investigates the vanilla value chain, and in particular we are interested in a recent change that has occurred in that international aroma producers have replaced traditional exporters and preparators in the value chain. That is called vertical integration. The effects of this vertical integration is our main focus. How does that change the situation of the smallholder, the producer of the vanilla? The growing demand for vanilla together with the skyrocketing prices that we see is really putting an additional pressure on the natural ecosystems. So it's also important to understand how vanilla and the global demand um, affects um, the ecosystems in Madagascar. The main objective of my doctoral research is trying to increase the number of endemic trees of Madagascar in vanilla plantations. I do research on amphibians and reptiles which are associated with vanilla plantations. My project is about um, studying the ground vegetation, means uh, herbaceous vegetation in a vanilla plantation. What's very important for us is it's a transdisciplinary uh, project. That means we have researchers from different disciplines and they are working and doing research together. But what we also do is to work together with the local population, the local people, and we are very interested to do research with them together. We don't just want to do research for the sake of doing research. We want research to have impact on the real lives of people. Science will help to develop the region of Madagascar by appreciating the local potential.